Welcome to the solution for challenge number six, create your own spinner. The way this works is you would create your own spinner, um, hopefully using objects in the gallery, and you would click on it and click on it again. It would stop at a random place on the spinner. Okay, so let's go ahead and look how we create the spinner, um, but we're not going to use the flash base spinner that's in the gallery, which is also a very nice tool. But uh, we're going to we're going to build our own, and there are some neat things you can do um, if you have your own spinner. So um, let's start with a new page. Now, if you looked, let me go back. If you looked at my hint, I said search for the word circle in the gallery, and there's a reason for that. So if we go into the gallery, and if you type down the word circle and searched on it, you're going to get um, a folder back containing circles broken up into sectional pieces. And the reason why these are nice is that they are laid out perfectly to build um, a circular spinner. So if I want to do one in, let's say, six, here they are right here. Notice if I touch and drag them out to the board, and I do them in order, notice that they just fit perfectly to build our own spinner. Now what's also nice about these is they're, they are like a shape in the sense that you can go ahead and change their color just by clicking on them and going to the properties tab and changing the color. So they're very easy to manipulate this way. Uh, not quite good enough. There you go. There's a good spinner. Um, so we're we're all set. We have a spinner now. We just need to uh, adjust the position, and that just takes a few seconds because everything is just laid out so perfectly. All right. So those are my alignment guides. If you're wondering what those blue marks are, and there, I have. I won't get perfect, but you can play around. Make sure everything is uh, set so it makes a perfect circle. All right. Now we have our spinner, so I can go ahead and select all my objects. You can also do that, by the way, holding down the control key and the letter A, or you can use the edit menu, select all, and then I can just go ahead and drop down arrow and group, or as it says here, control G on the window system. All right, there's my spinner. Let's go ahead and add my, I'm just going to add a arrow. So we know where it stops. I just need to go ahead and flip that around and put it right up top. All right, um, let's go ahead and fill that in white. There you go. Now if we animate this, we could have it spin, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one last thing. Um, this is where you would put the information, like if you wanted to have names of your students and it, the spinner would randomly, oops, randomly select a student for you. Let me center that. Here's Jasmine, and I'm going to put her at the top. All right, just a quick hint when you're putting in text, um, the, if you're putting them at the bottom piece down here, don't put them in like this because when they get to the top, they'll be upside down. So make sure that they're positioned correctly, so if the spinner stops at that sectional piece, uh, the name Jasmine will be uh, right side up. So that's it. Let's go ahead, and now that we have our names, I'll just put one name in for right now. Let me just group the names and the spinner. I'm going to do a control G. There you go. Now I'm going to add my animation. So here's my, um, my spinner is selected. I go to object animation. Simple animation, we just select spin. I'm going to do it counterclockwise, uh, a little bit slower. When the object is clicked, we'll start it, and we're going to stop it when the object is clicked or touched. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Format, Locking, and lock it in place. So now, if we come up and touch the spinner and touch it again, it stops at a random location. Looks like Jasmine doesn't want to be selected here. There it is, Jasmine. So that's how to create a spinner. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I think you'll find a lot of great uses for it.